Welcome to AHR 2024 and My Diaz booth. I'm here with David Rames, our Senior Product Manager for our Central AC products, to introduce some of the innovation and products that we have as specifically focused on our DOE cold climate heat pump unit. David, what can you tell us about the development of this unit, the performance of it, kind of give us the spiel. So in 2021, the Department of Energy challenged major manufacturers to come up with cutting edge cold climate heat pump technology. So my idea by being my idea, we said, of course, we're in. And so through the challenge, there were two major tests. One was we had to have a 100% heating output at five degree Fahrenheit. No problem for us. The second test was voluntary. We wanted to do it or we didn't want to do it. Of course, for my idea, we agreed we wanted to do it. What is your heating output at negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit? So we said, let's go. We got the call after testing and they said, how does 118% of your rated heating capacity at negative 15 Fahrenheit sound? And we said, sounds good. So it's very powerful, any geographical area, any climate, we've got you covered with this thing. It's super, super powerful. The kind of spirit of the booth has a lot of wintry scenes, kind of looks pretty cold and chilly. Is there a certain project you'd like to talk about that kind of highlights this type of technology? Well, Zach, thanks for teeing that up for me. So we did a project Zach and I both were involved in uh, in Alaska and it's cold and we were driving and so we, we had this project with uh, a group in Alaska that works with special needs and foster families. And so with this, we found uh, Willow Ranch. And Willow Ranch is a facility where four special needs men run a ranch. And they needed some major, major updates on this house. So we came in, new doors, new insulation, uh, new windows, and then new HVAC. So with our extreme heat, we came in, put in a system in this uh, duplex that they had. They're now more comfortable than ever. We can handle the frigid and cold, cold as we know, cold climates of Alaska, no problem. We wanna keep these guys warm so they can go out and work hard on the ranch. All right, let's head into the booth and check out some more of the products and innovations. As the consumer research engineer, this one is near and dear to my heart. What can you tell us about our Evox air handler and how it was developed? Well, First of all, Zach does a wonderful job, and the way we kicked this thing off when we needed to get into the unitary central ducted system is, you gotta have an air handler. So what do you do? How do you build it? And so what we want to do is involve contractors from the very beginning. They're the group that install it, they service it, they troubleshoot it. So I called five of my contractor friends, brought them in, brought some competitive units, had a very rough prototype, said bring your tool bag, we're gonna record it, tear it apart, put it back together, tell us what you love, tell us what you hate, and we will build the ultimate air handler that makes the contractors happy. That was a pretty good move, I think. What kind of things are specifically designed into this unit that contractors love? Well, we gotta make it easy to install, we gotta make it easy to service, we gotta make it easy to troubleshoot. So one thing I'll point out right now, which we have is, behind this little black screen is an LED, and so, if everything's going well, it's set point. If we have a, an error code, it shows here, Mrs. Jones can go to the basement. When the contractor calls and go, I've got a 72 error code, they'll know what the problem is before they come to the house, so we're gonna lower labor costs as well. That's great, thanks. My idea is probably most known for their heat pump and ductless units. What can you tell us about the ductless units we have to offer and the applications that they serve? Well, the good news is, I mean, we've got a solution for every application. So we've got single zone, we've got multi-zone, and what I love is all of our indoor units can be used in either application, right? And so we've got high walls and, and one-way cassettes and four-way cassettes and four consoles. We've got the entire, uh, we've got the entire lineup. One I would like to focus in on a little bit is are my day in one-way cassette and so my favorite application for that is in a multi-zone right you can handle the rest of the house with an air handler but the one-way cassette my favorite application is the master bedroom put it in there at night if you want it colder you turn that thing down and you don't have to worry about cooling off the entire house comfort and efficiency in one package and that's sort of the my idea way I'm here with David Leeser our retail AC R&D manager to talk a little bit about my ideas PWHP this year's Sustainable Solutions Innovation Awards winner for 2024 AHR Expo. Yeah, thanks, Zach. 
So what we have here is Mydea's brand new PWHP, which is a package window heat pump. And how this came about is from New York City's Clean Heat for All Challenge, where New York City Housing Authority is trying to transition towards electrification for their different buildings. So they want to move away from steam heat towards a window-mounted, high-efficiency air source heat pump. And so this was our answer to that request, where we won 20,000 of the 30,000 bid uh, for that challenge. And so what this is, it's a 9,000 BTU per hour heating and cooling unit that's high efficiency, has capability down to 5F with 100% heating, and has functionality all the way down to negative 13 Fahrenheit. Uh, it's a 115 volt, 15 amp unit, so it'll plug right into the wall, just like a normal window AC, so no electrical upgrades required. And it's also meant to be installed fully from the inside. So the outside will actually rotate flat. You install it onto the mounting bracket, and then slide it in, and it'll rotate in place, and then you seal it up and you're good to go. So obviously this unit looks a little different than most window ACs. What's special about this form factor? Yeah, so this unique uh, saddle shape uh, was really driven by the specification where New York City said, hey, we want our residents to get a lot more natural light and get their window back. Uh, so that's kind of what drove to this, what we call saddle style unit. Uh, however, some of the challenges with that is with the condensate management, they said it couldn't drip and it couldn't freeze and there was no new plumbing required. So what we did is through a series of condensate management system, we can either add humidity to the inside or we can even spray it outside with this misting nozzle, uh, you know, just whatever the situation is needed.